we'll move forward uh, to Serena Williams. Serena Williams, for one, remarkable athlete. Okay. For two, I think that. she's really cool, right? And before we even get into the video as to why this makes her even cooler and doing these little Snapchat surprises playing uh, tennis with people and fans, uh, she won her 23rd like Grand Slam title, mm -hmm. and she got her own signature pair of Jordans with the number 23 on them. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Those are awesome. Are they going to design their own shoe called the I SW, think she, yeah, SW2s? She might, she might get her SWs, her <laughs> SW 5.4s. I mean, she is just one of the greatest athletes of all time, Absolutely. just is. Uh, and then she's got this su super awesome Snapchat story, which we'll show you, that includes her dog Chip and playing tennis with some random friends. Just having a stroll at night, and I'm thinking about asking these guys if I could hit with, just to see their reaction. <laughs> so I think they are in the middle of playing out points. I'm gonna ask if I can have the winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't recognize me, but I think I heard him say my name already. Um, dang it. They probably recognized Chip. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is this for real? Yeah. Who won? Wow. What? Yes, please. Holy crap. <laughs> so, who won? Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yes, please. She's serious. I, have please. A, I don't have one my to Nikes, but these are worse. Please, you want your racket? You... I'm not gonna. I was gonna say I'm not gonna warm up. Wait, these are not <laughs> official. These are not we official. Don't do this at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chip's got next. Got We've got a ball. <laughs> you already trash talking? Hey, Chip. It's, it's funny because uh, you just wanted to go for a little walk after. Right, exactly. And instead, you didn't play in tennis. This is awesome. <laughs> you had a moment? You were blowing at this point. Okay, we did good. We did good. We did good. We did good. Still undefeated. Still undefeated, Ryan. So the moral of the story is you never know when I'll be coming to a tennis court near you. <laughs> Never. Never would have thought. You guys have fun? That was yeah. amazing. That was amazing. We had to do it again. <laughs> we loved it. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I'm a fan. It's oh. great. This is the thing. It's it's one of those things about being a well known, say even just in this realm, an athlete, a professional athlete where you can get recognized anywhere. You probably don't get a chance to just be yourself without worrying about what people are taking pictures of or saying or about to do or whatever to you, because I'm sure many people just don't like celebrities right. if they're out and around. But this is a chance to really just be yourself and it, actually it, it helps feed one of the things that pe I think people would love about being known is just response from people who actually genuinely like you and didn't have a thought that you'd be there. Like if right. you go, I'm gonna do a book signing and people show up, then they're expecting you there. Right. But when you just surprise them, it really gives you a genuine feel and you feel more like just yourself again. I think I think that's great. And yeah. they're never gonna forget this. No, not at all. That's like the, it's like those little moments. So first of all, Serena, uh, she kicked her ass, obviously. Mm -hmm. And she was, as you pointed out, she was talking trash at some point. <laughs> That's what you would want, though. Which is that. so perfect. And yeah. I love the fact that she's doing it in, like, boots, whatever the hell they wear. Like, this is like, don't it's do like this at home. like soft Uggs, it looked like. Right. And, and so, of course, she's a professional tennis player, one of the best there ever was. So, yes, an amateur guy is just playing tennis back and forth, having no chance, even if Serena's in boots. But one of the things that, you know, really stood out was it seemed like, as she said, she was just going for her walk. And it seems like it was just late at night and there wasn't, you know, there's two guys playing tennis. It's those types of stories, as you mentioned before, that do stick with you forever. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the things that I always said, like, I have a love-hate relationship with social media. I think social media has always been the best, worst thing ever created. Yeah. Um, yeah. There is access to information that we use. Actually, uh, in the show Californication, which I've been watching recently, there's a point being made by David Duchovny's character where he says, like, this access to information you know, gives you this broader perspective of everything in the world, yet we feel the need to shorten all of our language to LOL and BRB. It's like a slap in the face uh -huh. to what we've been given. We've been given this gift, and what we're giving it back is the middle finger, right? That's pretty much <laughs> the essence of what he's saying. But when you have these things like Snapchat, and 
you can show the world, like, this is just who I am. I'm not doing this for publicity. I'm not doing it to stunt with anybody. I'm doing it because I love tennis. They look like they're having a good time. Although it would have been even funnier if the guys walked over and go like, who, who are you? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, just Serena. Oh, no, I've never heard. Do you know like, Andre Agassi or do you know? Or just now you said it. Roger like, Venus okay, Williams? yeah, I'm just Serena. Can we just, just can we do one set? I wonder if Venus them. is jealous now and Venus is going to show up and destroy. <laughs> you think they can beat her two on one? It, it's, it's another reason why the whole um, Uncle Drew thing was that what they oh, did. Oh, it's the best That's why film, it was so but, good. But that was also scripted. Yes, um, to a degree. Like, uh... You had to have known the second he started hitting threes that, that it wasn't, and then Doug that it wasn't an old guy. Which by was recorded in Bloomfield, New Jersey. That's what I said. It was like where I was born in, in New Jersey. Yeah. Same, uh, not the same hometown technically as as Kyrie Irving. He was born in Australia, but he did grow up there, and he's my age. Mm-hmm. It's like I always made this joke. Is like I played AAU ball when I was in sixth <laughs> grade. I didn't play against Kyrie. I barely saw the court, but uh, I could have played with Kyrie Irving. If not, if not for you, uh, if you just got that pair of Jordans in sixth grade, you might be Kyrie Irving today. Could have been, you know, me, Uncle Drew. We're pretty much the same person. <laughs> we have the same game. JR seen my wicked crossover. <laughs> the jumper is, uh, is, is it's devastating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, comment below, like, favorite, and subscribe. If you were playing a sport, basketball, baseball, tennis, and one athlete could show up to surprise you in boots and kick your ass while trash talking you. Who would it be? Mm. Do you have one? You Any sport, have? huh? Do you take, it had like, to be basketball. That's the most fun thing after you know you can play it. It's like tennis is a good one-on-one sport. Basketball. I'm just one-on-one KG sport. showed up and ruined my life. Just said like the meanest shit to me. <laughs> 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 just, just really, really put it down. I wish Reggie could show up. That's my thing. My 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 favorite player growing up was Reggie Miller. I would love to. Shoot he went to Miller. UCLA too. True. What is this random true. soft spot? Yeah, I didn't I didn't care, but at the time I was 14 years old. You sprinter, you would want like a uh, Usain Bolt to just show up and no, race there's, you. No, there's no, there's no fun in that. <laughs> no fun. There's no fun in losing a race by. I, 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 I ran against Olympians in college, and how'd you go? I beat one of them, but yeah. that's because he was a quarter mile hurdler and I was a one ten hurdler, and he can't get over my hurdles, but he can kick my ass. Higher hurdles. Yeah, high hurdles, short distance. I did hurdles once. I cleared them all. Came in eighth. <laughs> I cleared them all, though. That's the I mean, this is like a multiple-time world champion and Olympian, so it's like Felix Sanchez. Oh. Really good guy. Um, but, That's yeah, cool. he, he couldn't beat me in the 110s. Got Jared Jackson, Felix. Got gold him. medalist in the 110. In practice one day. And and that was said, at, Stop doing that, Felix. You're going to hurt yourself. That was at the University of California, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below, like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check us out on Pluto. The description box has the channel number if you're watching on your desktop. And, again, I encourage everyone, go uh, download it on PlayStation Xbox. That's how I watch so you can watch it just like me. We'll see you next time.